fucking. Let's go blow up the planet. Well, <laughs> are the teams ready? Let's see it. Ready, ready. I'm seeing ready, seeing sure. I'm gonna count that as good to go. So here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Cast die, commit kill. Okay, we're gonna be tracking on the uh, Darth Star here. What's this actually called? Death Star? Alright. <laughs> Come on, man. One job. Seems Demon Fox going wide. Now, if I were to wager, Demon Fox is probably the fastest ship on the field here. Six five meters a second. This thing moves faster than the Great Dying does. It's actually about the same weight too. If I flew as part of a team. Only <laughs> yeah. well, something to be said about speed. Uh, Darth has already hit Winfield, and it looks like he may have done a little damage. It appears Winfield is just allowing shots through the front. Winfield is taking the damage. Appears he plans to soak the majority of the damage just with the, the gyros and random things. It's, it's not a bad plan, honestly. I think I'd be worried about Demon Fox more than it would be it. Shields. I want to see the Imperial Cruiser against the Cortez. I think that'd be a good fight. The Cortez almost is an Imperial Cruiser, you know, in its overall design philosophy. Yeah. Spartan has taken some 500 hits on the side. Still shunting full like forward. Looks like they're going hardcore on the uh, Death Star. Even though uh, Demon Fox is already in there, well within range. I'm not sure yeah, if that's the best idea. He is oh, putting her on oh, Winfield yeah. through that shunt. I'd definitely be taking out Demon Fox first. There's some ownership yeah. issues on this little building here. I'm gonna make sure that's sorted out. There we go. Winfield shields are down. Oh, yeah, uh, they have decided that uh, they will start staring at Demon Fox because uh, he's put the hurt on Winfield. And the simple truth is that the uh, the Death Star is going to be very, very good at knocking out shields, but not so good at damaging the actual ships. I don't know about that. That's a lot of Ares. Yeah, it'll put some, some neat holes through things. But, uh... <laughs> How's that for a neat hole? The entire front half of... Uh... The Cortez just went up in a cloud of smoke. There goes a gyro. Yeah, Winfield is down to 27,000 battle points already. 70% hull integrity and falling. Winfield still ignoring the fire from Demon Fox. He's just counting on his ability to tank all that damage before he gets into range of Darth. Uh, he's going to start yeah, taking... He's Starting to put that Tempest fire on Darth. Just a few Tempests is going to be all that's needed to end that giant orb. Darth's shields are at 42% and falling. Yeah. He had 70 million shields, but I don't think they're going to hold much longer. A lot of the effective damage from blue team is coming out of Demon Fox right now. The field has dropped below 60% now. Does he have enough to end it? 
It's gonna be all or nothing. Wouldn't be the first time. It's a bad habit of on the Death Star. penetrating orbs. Here he comes. Oof! Takes a huge amount of damage on the top end. Bounces off the shield. Yeah, Darth's still a 20% shield. That looks like Darth modulated for those Tempests. I also wonder, honestly, even if the shields went down, that orb is mostly hollow. You might get a lot of overpens and misses from the Tempests. Well, the Tempests do have a contact fuse available. High explosive. I'm sure he's using half and half. I'm seeing some damage starting to appear in the inside of Darth's shield. He is fully shunting towards Winfield. Oof. <laughs> and that's it for Demon Fox, who has been knocked out. By what? I'm not sure. What? Well, I guess Spartan <laughs> looked at him. Yep. Lots and lots of missiles from Spartan. What did that? Yeah, he wasn't set up for that. LRMs, I think. Mm, yeah, no, he didn't have enough point defense to handle that. And the shields are down on the Death Star. And, uh... Yeah. Not something I expected is the more conventional ships having a better time of this. Winfield soaking all of those hits. I'm not that sure how effective he is. Expecting Winfield to be more disabled by now. At 39%, he's actually still pretty fun. Well, you say that. Speaking. <laughs> I mean, he's still moving. He's waiting for it. He's waiting for the moment. Here comes the arrows. Nice nuclear glow on the side of the Death Star. A big open hole. His shields are still up. He's gonna bounce off. No, he put integrity on. No. And his shields come back up. He's trying to cut right through. Oh, Earth isn't having it. Cleaves off another portion of Winfield. <laughs> the orb rotates menacingly. And as he rotates, more pieces are falling off. Not how I expected this to go. As the sperm penetrates the egg. <laughs> Trying to shoot the interior of the giant orb. Here comes some arrows. Piercing in straight through, glowing brightly. Winfield shield still miraculously up. He's keeping those shunts open, just accepting the damage. Huge amount of debris just flying around inside Darth. Here's Darth has grown tired of getting shot at by Spartan and has readjusted, reacquired. Spartan is gone mostly unmolested. The slingers are actually doing good work now. Now oh, I'm a little bit out of range. Here comes the sun. And he soaks it. No problem. What is this thing made out of? Void. Apparently Demon Fox died so hard they can't respawn. <laughs> Amazing. I have actually seen that before. It happened to me the other day. Yeah. And there is a red line on Darth. That's it. Game. Good showing. 
Dark Star I'm did its best. Very concerned. <laughs> Spartan and Winfield are your winners. The very, very battered Winfield. Yep. Yo, folks. Arrogance of Cortez proving itself yet again. As is the Charybdis.